Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's occasional series of YouTube tutorials. Today we're going back to an old and tried and tested faithful, that's image processing in MATLAB, and we're looking at region props, is member, BW Connect, and other uh, object detection. Just to give the full IP credit here, this is the example I do today is taken from here, John Loomis, okay. So I've taken this example and I've changed it a little bit. I've added some more comments and hopefully with my commentary, it will, we'll be able to get better. Uh, so here we go. So here's my published one. Now, the first thing I need to say is that the image I used has different dimensions to the one on that website there. So uh, it's the same image with just different dimensions. So. There's the IP credit, and I've mentioned there that the image is a different size. So going through it there, we clear the command window, we close all variables and we close any open windows. We read in the file and we display it there. Okay. Now, first thing here, we're going to read in the file name Convert it to grayscale and then convert it to double. And we need to convert it to double so as to do some maths in it. It'd be u int 8. So in other words, it'd be 0 to 255. But we need to be able to do some calculations like, and that has to be in a double. So we need to be able to record uh, non integer numbers. So I cropped out the region of interest and my size here, there the rectangular uh, coordinates that I'm going to crop it out on there just there, and then when I crop it out and display it there. Here we use different rectangular coordinates because this image size is different to mine. Now, here we get a gray trash here. So, you know, MATLAB will sort it out for you. What would be the gray threshold here? So you see when MATLAB sorts it out, it's about 0 0.51. So it's not 255, 0.5 would be about 127 and a half, 128. So the threshold value is about 129 ish, 130, something like that in pixel values. And you can see, you can sort of guess it there, sort of a weighted average. We have our, our about 129, half the pixels are to the left and half the pixels are to the right. So that's pretty okay. So then we convert it to a black and white image, zero and ones, using the level, and the level there is 0.513725, which is about 129, 130 in new and eight values. We display it there, and the way it turns out that the objects are black and um, the background is white and an image posting is the other way around. So I converted it to the other way around immediately. Uh, John Loomis did it later on, but I think, dare I say, it, my way is better. So there we have, we've just inverted the image below and how do you invert just a tilde there, inverts it so naught becomes one and ones become zero. Naught becomes one, black becomes white, ones become zero, white becomes black. Then we just find the connected components. In other words, that'll be white, touching white. We find all of them. And if we look at it there, there's 20 white objects just there. We get the region, sorry, we get the region properties of them. And we only have some of the region props there. We get the area, the centroid, the bounding box, etc. And we display them there again, just slightly better. When we are slightly better presented, we don't have it to 10 different places, etc. There's the centroids on their own. And then the label matrix. Um, you know, so just to go back up here a second. Sorry, sorry for jumping. Uh, just where the mouse is there, that'll be zero because MATLAB goes along let's call it the x-axis this way, and then it drops down and the first object it detects, 
just there, that big circle would be object one. This where mouse is there is object two. Mouse there, object three, mouse there, object four. The triangle would be five. I think that rugby ball there would be six. That'd be seven. That'd be eight. And then I just can't discern here. I suspect the square is probably a little to the left of the first vertical bar, and that'd be object nine. But you have the idea by now. Uh, here we converted them to uh, the objects that we detected to an RGB color. So just to visualize it a little better, and there it is. So we've gone, see the way it takes there, the first object is a dark blue, and then the last object will be a, a, a deep red. So you're going from the, the, the wavelengths, you know, when you go infrared to ultraviolet. So that's the way it does it. So that's object one. I guess that's the deepest blue and the deepest red is there. So that's object last. What we want to do here is find all the objects that are less than 135 pixels. There we are. So there's the index. That's not only less than 135. There we use is member. So we'll find the index and we'll find objects, whatever it is. See them there. That'd be what did we say. That was three. That was four. I forget what that was. But all those indexes. So that'd be three. That'd be four, etc. Are found from that line there. And then you get BW two is find all those objects. And then display them. And all of them there are less than one hundred and thirty five. Another is member. Show the first four objects. Scroll down there, and there's the first four. And then finally, the eccentricity. So that's sort of the ellipse. So remember, the more elliptical it is, the more it lies towards one. The more circular it is, the more it lies towards zero. So obviously, those lads are quite circular. So we, oh sorry, we have an eccentricity of less than 0.3. So we're looking for fairly circular objects. And strangely enough, that square is vaguely circular. Well, our non-elliptical would be the other way of putting it. So they are the uh, objects that have a, an eccentricity of less than 0 0.3. So I hope between my commentary and uh, the code, I'll give the link to the code in the description on YouTube, you'll be able to... Uh, get a thorough understanding of region props is member bw connect find another material okay thanks very much and thanks for listening